Sue Barker revealed her favorite male tennis player on the same night she was honored at the BT Sport Action Woman Awards 2022. Hosted by Claire Balding, Barker, who retired from her role with the BBC after Wimbledon this summer, was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Barker had been the face of the BBC's coverage for 30 years, and at SW19 in July bid an emotional farewell to the crowd at the Parade of Champions event on Wimbledon's Centre Court. Her long-standing TV partner John McEnroe lead the tribute saying, Sue, one final word. On behalf of all the players, I just want to say that we're going to be lost without you. The former Question of Sport presenter built up a rapport with many top stars during her broadcasting tenure, including the likes of Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, and Rafael Nadal. Indeed, her post-final on-court interviews became an iconic part of the annual coverage. Speaking to Balding about her farewell, the one-time French Open champion inadvertently revealed the star she admired most. Asked if she was moved by the reception she received that day, Barker explained how she struggled to keep it together. And then I looked over at Roger because, well, let's face it why would NT you? She joked. And I remember every time I've interviewed him and asked what is the best moment of your career? And H has always said winning Wimbledon, it's what I dreamed of, but you made me cry. I looked at him and thought him not going to do a Roger, I can't walk away from Wimbledon blubbing. Balding then said, I was going to ask you, now that you don't have to be neutral, who has been your favorite player but you may just have answered that. Laughing, Barker replied, oh, do you think? He even smells nice. The 66-year-old, who in February received a CBE, also praised the impact of Billie Jean King on females in the sport. In 1973, the top women's tennis player defeated former number one ranked men's player Bobby Riggs, on what proved a landmark occasion. I had two amazing careers. Tennis which I absolutely fell in love with as a seven-year-old, never thought it would be a career until Billie Jean won the battle of the sexes, and then suddenly my hobby became a career. I got to travel the world because of everything she did and that gave me a foothold into broadcasting.